Okay, it's 10.50 on a uh, calm morning. Overcast, supposed to be some thunderstorms today. I might get, um, I might get chased off the water by winds or um, by lightning. But uh, air temperature is about 65, 66 degrees Fahrenheit. Water temperature is 11 degrees Celsius. I'm using the TB40 today, and we'll see if we can get anything here. Um, this river is running now at um, 200 cubic feet per second, which is about twice as high as I prefer it but we will see if I can find the fish if I can get down deep enough to them or uh, or find them in the and near the edges and I got a snag right off the bat There we go. First fish. On a on a, a silver bead Ishigaki Futsu bead head. Nice brown oh, nice fish okay okay come on there you go here's another one Pretty serious water to fight these fish in. smaller than the last one. Well, yeah, nice fish though. fish and we, he's around a snag. And he broke me off, of course. Yep. Hmm. There we go, a little one. I lost the Ishigaki bead head on that last really nice fish over there underneath that cut bank as it wrapped me around some underwater snags and so I've put on a pink squirrel. a good fish too. Oh, and he got me, broke me off. Must be, I think I can see a branch right there under the water. Shoot. Oh, 
there we go, a little one. Not nearly as big as that big one that broke me off in the underwater snag, but I take him. Come here. Come here. So I lost the pink squirrel. So I switched over to a beadhead peacock. Futsu. Um, Kabari. Okay, I need to turn around here so I don't get swept off my feet. Yeah, nice fish. Got a big thunderstorm here building up just to my east. I don't know which way it's moving. Um, but if I start to hear um, thunder pretty soon, then I might have to get off the water. There we go. Taken right next to the bank. This is on a tungsten bead head. Um, Oxford wool kabari, but cast it right next to the bank. Came up with this fellow. Okay, calm yourself down. Fourteen inch brown. Really nice fish. Another brown right there. It's interesting, it seems like the bigger fish that I'm catching today are um, <laughs> got around my back or next to the shore. Nice fish. There's one, right in front of that rock on the other side, next to the bank. He's not too big. There we go. It's a nice sized fish. Oh, and he's off. Hang it. That was a nice fish.
Snags again, snags again. <clears throat> There we go. Got him out. Good fish. 14 inches again. And he's out. Good. There's one. <sighs> so, like, so when I uh, lost the when I lost the jig head. Um, Oxford wool kabari. I decided to put on a, a large gnarly fly. This one's maroon with red wire ribbing. Um, since the fish are hanging out next to the banks, I decided to I'll just go with size instead of a bead as the main attractant. Knew there had to be a fish over there somewhere. Not too big a one, but well, the wind has suddenly kicked up. Probably with these thunderstorms. Right from underneath. Oh, right from underneath the grassy bank. That's a nice fish. Okay. Flies a little bit too big for the catch and release. But it's big enough to grasp with my fingers, so that was good. There we go. We'll end with a small brown trout. Nice little fish. Well, it's 12.15. The 
breezes have really picked up, it's gotten rather blustery. So I think I will end there. Uh, what I learned today is, is that I can fish this stream at 200 cubic feet per second, particularly in this section. And uh, um, I know the water conditions are excellent um, at those flows. So, yep, that's it. I'll be back for sure.